Alright, so, um, I was watching this, like, whole live stream where, you know, talking about mental health stuff, right? There's this whole discussion about, uh, CPTSD, right? And she's basically talking about how you could still deal with, um, family members that, you know, cause you the trauma or whatnot, and, um, we're just setting up boundaries, and she, as an example, you use something about, oh, like, you know, if your mother came to you, you said something uh, along the lines of you being fat. And then you set your boundaries and be like, all right, we're not going to talk about this today. Right? So then someone makes this whole comment and they're just like, oh, somebody called me fat. I'm so traumatized. And it's like, see, that, that's the type of thing that people always do, like, with being apathetic and whatnot. And it's like, you, you just come completely took it way out of context right and like it's a regular everyday situation and somebody called you fat and then that's it that's not the whole point it's like first off she was talking about setting boundaries not what causes you to become traumatized and then it's like the whole thing is like i so they're ignoring the factor of the person's already traumatized at this point right and there's a bunch of factors that brought it up to there, right? And when you get traumatized by, the, by these people saying this is someone who deals with someone who's done that, the thing with that is they have a whole, a whole history of tearing you down, right? Constantly just pecking at you, constantly doing these things to you, constantly telling you negative things, right? And they reinforce that negativity to the point where eventually at some point you start seeing yourself in a negative way. And, you know, people had their whole things. Oh, you can't let people do that, blah, blah, blah. But it's like when they start doing this, you are a child. And they they are your parent. They're the person who raised you, who protected you. They're the most important person to you. They they define all of the rules of life, what is truth, what is the facts, what is the reality. Everything that you learn, they raise you. And that person who raised you constantly reinforces this negative image, this image of you being a bad person, of you being a failure, of you being all of these negative things, right? How... How do you not expect the person to view themselves in that way? Like, it's just. <laughs> I I just. Yo, like. If you've never experienced that, then you don't know. And it's like, it's just. It can be so frustrating. Like, people are like, oh, it's so easy. It's so simple. Just don't let them do. Like, bruh. Are you serious? I'm sorry. I've never met a person who did not end up screwed up in the head over their parents doing that to them. I have met people who've gotten their life together, who've gotten money. I've met people who've made a lot of money and financially had their life together, but they were still screwed up in the head. But they fit society's idea of what's quote unquote fine because they have their life together in a financial manner, right? But in the head, they're mentally like something is really wrong with them. So yeah, but like I don't know. I don't I don't get I don't get how people like do stuff like that. And then it's like the whole other factor of where, you know, different people have different takes, right? And where it's like, where with one person, it'll be this whole thing where because of the trauma, it's like everything that brings up the trauma in their mind, it sets them off, right? And then you have other situations where it could be like, it depends on the person in the situation. Like, for example, with, like with my homeboys, right? Well, certain homeboys, not all homeboys, but there are certain homeboys that I have where we can say things to each other that if you're a person on the outside looking in, you're going to be like, yo, this is mad disrespectful, right? And we say it to each other all day. We laughing, we're joking. It's fine, 
right? I'm cool with it. Whereas if a stranger said the same thing, I'm going to give them the finger, right? But if my mother said the same thing to me, I'd be pissed off as all hell, right? But it's because of all of that negative reinforcement that came from her, all of the negative things, the constant insults, and like she constantly insulted me so much my entire life that it's like now I look at her as this person who's just, they're out to hurt me, they're out to harm me, they're always trying to bring me down. Every time I'm happy, she comes to say something negative to just mess up my whole day, right? Always trying to control me, manipulate me, walk all over me. So because I had this whole experience of always being manipulated and walked all over and treated bad and insulted and whatnot by this person. The smallest things that they do to me, I get extremely upset. And it's not going to be on the same level as with the average person. It's going to be completely different. And it's like people don't take those things into account that it's much more factors and you're trying to evaluate this situation on the basis of a healthy person or an average person or a person with no problems, a person who's not being triggered, a person in the average situation, like you're not going to react the same way. And just like I said with my homeboy, like we can go to an extreme level and I'm completely fine. But with her, it could be something small and I'm livid. Like, it varies from person to person. Everybody is different. Everybody goes through different things. But you can't you can't sit here and act like you know everything about trauma. And that, that's the things that irk me. Like, when it comes to things like trauma and depression, people always use regular, average situations. People with healthy minds or even some people that don't have healthy minds, but they suppress their feelings. They always use the worst case scenarios. Well, I don't know, not worst case, but worst scenarios to try to compare and evaluate the situation and be like, yeah, this is this is how a person should react in a situation. Like, no, you're, you're comparing two completely different people who have nothing to do with each other. Their history is nowhere near even being similar. And of course, people like to pick out little things to say, oh, oh, no, it's, it's similar. Like, <sighs> there are similarities that everybody has, but the similarities are not always close enough in the situation. For example, you have two people. They both been picked on. People will be like, oh. Well, I've been picked on too. Well, you didn't get beat by to a bloody pulp every day. You didn't get picked on literally every day. You didn't get beat with an inch of your life. You weren't constantly bruised and bloody and bleeding every day. You didn't have the teachers join in to beat you down. You didn't have your counselor tell you you weren't going to be crap. You didn't have your parents telling you you were going to either be dead or in prison. You didn't have all that type of stuff. You had the rat, the average every day getting picked on. And you're trying to compare the regular old oh, Kids just saying rude things because they don't realize it's rude to someone who's actually a legit target and everybody specifically picks on them because they see them as the designated person that everybody can mess with. Everybody gets together, jumps together, beats up that person. Everybody doesn't get it the same. But yet people want to 
try to sit there and evaluate the situation as if everybody's situation is exactly the same. 